Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So this is the, the final plan uh, I have created. This is how we are going to integrate it with the UI. So there is a React UI which will trigger the action and we can have an intermediate service which is going to talk to Kamunda. Kamunda engine, it is going to hit the post APIs by sending all the variables or I mean there can be a different kind of uh, APIs you can execute for starting a process, for completing a particular user activity task, all these things can be triggered through this API service. Okay, you can directly start a process or you can start a process with populating some variables that we will see. And then there is a topic listener or you can say task listener, service task listener, which will execute these independent tasks. Let's say we are executing these three tasks. Okay. So these independent tasks will be handed over to a single microservice. You have a three different endpoints. Okay, uh, three different different endpoints to create a user, send email, and task done. Okay. So we'll, we will get the final state in the database and we are reading it through the APIs. And we'll be able to show the data on the UI. We are going to use a Kamunda modeler for deploying the new diagrams. And Kamunda client library to listen to uh, I mean to call this Kamunda to keep calling the Kamunda for listening to all the topics. Okay, so what we are going to do here is this is a particular BP event. Let's say how we can execute it through the APIs. This is the create user. So executing it through the APIs is simple. What you can do is this is the Kamunda host, the engine rest, and this is the process definition key and your Kamunda workflow name and the start. Okay. And here you can actually pass the variables. So this is a variable object. Here you can pass the variable first name of type string and value of first name is this. Email of type string and value of the email is like this. And when you click on to this, we already have created a simple listener. We are going to create this uh, workflow example where we are going to have API service, listener service, React UI, and workflow service. But for now, to keep it little simple we already have this worker which is a listener which is using Kamunda external task client and if I just click send it will start this process and we already have a worker running to, to listen to all these topics you can see this is working fast and we are actually starting this process and our topics is getting executed and we already are subscribing our client is subscribing to the topic so we can see the data coming so these are the three tasks right so all the three types tasks are completing now instead of this simple worker we can have a simple client which can maintain all these topics in somewhere in the database keeps calling it n number of times like keeps calling it uh, in the iterative fashion because that's the the feature of this client library i am not running any server here this client keeps call, uh, calling the kamunda engine we just need to provide this config okay this can be independent service now here let's say we are doing nothing we are subscribing to this particular topic name we are doing nothing we are completing this task but this particular code can be a totally asynchronous where you can you may be talking to a third party service you might be dealing to the database you might be writing a file to the the file server s3 bucket or something else right so this can be purely asynchronous and for handling these kind of things you can create a simple microservice which is going to do this listening task here you can subscribe unsubscribe subscribe all topics all these things you can do okay that we are going to write in the listener service and to call or to start this workflow we can have a simple workflow service which is going to handle the execution or starting a particular workflow okay that we have mentioned in the diagram this is the workflow service okay that is going to talk to kamunda here we are doing it through the postman executing the kamunda and there is a listener worker we are already running so that worker is listening to all the topics currently worker is doing nothing but worker can talk to uh, the microservice update the state so that the ui can see the updated data from the database Okay, this is the final objective, but this is you can say the first phase of doing it. First, we understand all these concepts, then it is easy to write these services because this API service is going to a simple HTTP uh, executor. Whenever you get receive the action, send this action to the Kamunda. This topic listener is going to subscribe to all the topics, 
it is going to have a mechanism to subscribe unsubscribe you can add new topic delete new topic all these things and then they each and every topic will have mapping with the endpoints http endpoints they can be belongs they can belongs to any particular microservice so this is how we are doing it so this is how we are executing this process workflow process it, currently it's not uh, it's a simple workflow process doing nothing executing it you can also do few things like you can add a user task you can know uh, this user task you can use to debug things like what is the current state of uh, your workflow of these because there might be a case where you are returning some data from these particular service tasks and you wanted to see what is the data so this can be a debug point for your workflow to just track what all data you have received and then you manually complete it sometimes putting the user task is helping us to debug things because here you can track all the process variable available till here and then you manually complete it and your task then will execute okay so that's it about it now we might need to write these services one is a ui one is a listener service api service workflow service and we will plug all these building blocks together which will help us to build uh, the microservices with the kamunda workflow engine as an event bus okay thanks everyone